We always talk about the Nuneaton fans. They've been pretty good to you, haven't they? It's for those people that you you know you want to you want to achieve and, and, and you know you want them to enjoy you know what Nuneaton Town is all about. Say that was the the best of the uh, the eight that you got early on the goal against Telford. Yeah, I'd say so because it was uh, set us on our way to get three points that game at home. So it was quite a big goal, really. As earlier in the week, I heard you say that your proudest moment was to keep Nuneaton, your hometown club, in the Blue Square Premier as skipper. You're smiling now. It's been a real roller coaster, though, hasn't it? You know, like um, for me, on a personal level, this year's been massive. You know, I think everyone's as well documented. I've supported the club as a, as a youngster. Um, and being given the opportunity to captain my hometown club, which for me on a personal level is massive. Every line you stood by, and we'll dance it. Your priorities, the judge will to power. As a group of lads, you know, we, we've got such a close knit group in there, you know, that everybody gets on so well. There's no one who's who's sort of you know not not within the the banter and and the camaraderie. So yeah, it's a it's a fantastic group, and uh, hopefully a lot of them can can be kept together. I think one thing which uh, I think all the lads have noticed is it has been a difficult season. There's been a, a long period where we've been in a relegation zone, but there's never ever been a time where the fans have turned. Whereas at possibly other clubs, uh, there has been that moment where expectations have probably got above where the club is, possibly with the clubs I've been at recently. Whereas with this club, it was just support, support, support. And I think that is ultimately one of the main reasons we've stayed up.